Today we're going to do a repair on the Picania board. Last time when I soldered it, I used the 64K version of the PIC32 on the board. Um, but actually we need the 128K version. So I ordered up some replacements from Farnell. And a giant box came. And in that box is this giant tray. And inside this tray are two tiny chips. Awesome. So today we're going to remove this chip with hot air and then clean up the board just a little bit, put a lot of flux on it, and then re-solder the new chip. For equipment, I've got soldering braid to clean up, a little piece of sticky tack to hold the board down so it doesn't move around while I hot air it off, a magnifying glass for inspection, some small gauge solder. We've got two new toys. Um, here I picked up a soldering iron cleaner from Farnell. Instead of using a wet sponge, this is some metal squiggly things. So when you clean up your soldering iron tip, it doesn't get cold from the water. On the other hand, I've heard that little bits of metal spring back at you, so it might not be that great. We'll find out. The other thing we have, and this is a freebie, is Farnell sent us a couple different types of flux to try out for free. And this is one of the syringe fluxes. We're going to give this a try. Uh, this is the old tube of flux. I've been using this for at least 10 years and it's probably the only tube of flux I've ever owned. Um, it works great still, but the syringe has gotten clogged up from years of years of use and it doesn't really dispense well anymore. So today we'll try out this new flux and I'll put the link for it in the post. Okay, so first we'll take off the chip with hot air. Now that we got the chip off, we'll clean this up, um, remove any extra solder, put a little extra flux on it, and then we'll solder the new chip on. We've got the pads all cleaned up now. And it doesn't look like there's too much extra solder on any of them, maybe a little bit too much here. Yeah. Now that we've got them all cleaned up, we'll take our flux, lay down a nice thick layer, okay, now we'll solder one pin in one corner and then get the chip set down and then we'll solder an opposite pin and then work our way around. Now we've got our first layer down, and it's pretty messy. Some of it we managed to be pretty clean, but a lot of it's pretty messy. So what I'm going to do is put another layer of flux on it. Yes, one more time. And then I'm going to take the wick and just wick around and clean it up until it looks just perfect. We finished replacing the pig chip. It went on really clean. It all went really well. In terms of tool reviews, the new Flux, awesome. It's the first Flux I've ever tried that could replace Old Krusty here. I even tried this one. I tried this pin once. Just terrible. I didn't like this at all. But this is great. This is a reasonable replacement for my old favorite. And in terms of the tip cleaner, it actually worked pretty well. 
I didn't have any problems with metal spraying back on me and it kept the tip nice and clean and it did in fact recover faster after cleaning. There was no dead spot before it heated up again. So overall, really happy with that and I'll keep using it on more projects.